You read the title, so you know what it is. Let's get into it. As you've seen on the title, uh, I'm going to be working on these 799 heads, the intake port, porting these up, cleaning them up a little bit. Um, if you haven't already, Walker Halls, ha or Walker, has a video on his channel of me doing the exhaust port work and stuff. Uh, been kind of busy, so I haven't had a lot of time to work on these, and uh, I finally got my YouTube up, so I might as well do a video on this as well. Um, he had previously had a uh, rocker arm failure that broke a couple intake valves, and we just had a bunch of issues out of his other heads for his WS6, so we were putting the 799 heads on, and before I installed them, I was told him that I would do some porting, some cleaning up of the intake ports just to get a Free up a few extra horsepower before we throw these things on there. So, uh, as you can see here, this one I haven't messed with the intake ports at all. And then this one over here, I have already worked on the intake ports and ground them down. Uh, so, this head is almost done. The exhaust port work has all been done. Uh, now, on these intake ports here. I am going to be taking this little hump off. That little hump there is where the the rocker rocker arm bolt goes through and it actually protrudes into the intake port a little bit. So I'm going to be cleaning up the intake port, getting rid of that. I'm not going to do too much gasket matching on the import intake ports. Uh, there's really no need to widen that gasket out. The stock gasket on these 799 heads fit pretty good. So I'm just going to leave that alone. Uh, but let's just get to a time lapse of me grinding these things down. So. It's been a few days uh, since I've worked on Walker's heads here. Uh, I've got the intake valve side of these ports cleaned up. Uh, so tonight I am going to be working on that little hump there. That little hump, uh, if I remember correctly, I said was for the rocker bolt. So I'm going to be taking that off. That is going to create an opening where that rocker bolt will kind of protrude into the intake runner but overall it will help the flow of this intake. So uh, I'm just gonna cut to a time lapse of me working this little bulge and uh, hopefully see what I can get up knocked out tonight. All right 
guys. So uh, a few minutes of grinding here. Uh, I finally got this first port pretty much done. Um, I was going to show you guys what this hole that I am creating in the intake actually looks like and what it looks like with me rounding off that uh, corner a little bit. So let's see how good we can get it in the camera anyway. So, oh yeah, you can see that pretty good down in there. So there's a nice that hole right, well, right back here. So, and you can kind of see a difference there. That bulge, no bulge. And you can kind of see the the light from that hole. Kind of see it in there. But yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing to this head and the other head back there. So it's back to the time lapse. call that for tonight um, I got three or well two and a half ports uh, done here uh, I'm probably not gonna show you any more time-lapse of this work uh, I still got a whole nother head back there that I got to port the intake on this little hump and then I will move on to some polishing so I'll probably get back with you guys whenever I finish up with all the porting and then uh, show you all how I am going to polish these heads so see you then all right, guys. Uh, so it's been a few weeks. I didn't have time to work on these heads at home, so I ended up bringing them into work and working them on my lunch. Um, all right, so I went ahead and done some polishing on everything, got everything cleaned up. Got Walker here actually putting the heads back on. We've already torqued them down, and he is checking his valve lash right now. Uh, so as far as polishing goes, doesn't look much different than whenever I grinded them, but we did take uh, some 80 grit sandpaper on a little die grinder bit and sanded everything down you don't want to polish it uh, mirror finish smooth because you don't get the good airflow like you should so but that's gonna be it i'll put uh, walker's link down in the description so you can check out the rest of this engine build until next time